So today we're getting these tanks painted. These tanks are all pre-drilled. A lot of them got plumbing in on them already. And a lot of them have fresh silicone. But today we're gonna be painting these guys all black. Most of the sides and backings. These are gonna go and replace the 55 gallon on the new rack system. So tanks are all painted and now it is time to drill these boards for the shelving. You can see I already got them all marked off super quick with the hole saw. So the holes are all drilled right through the plywood. Now these racks do come with particle board which I wasn't going to use. 40 gallon breeder on the bottom, no need to drill it. And yeah, I'm gonna put seven tanks of various sizes on here for different applications. Obviously it's not gonna go right in front of the 150. It is gonna replace that 55. So while we're waiting for paint to dry, eventually I'll do the plumbing and switch it out to where the 55 is. All right, so these tanks are all set up Got all the plumbing done. Figured out what order I want them in and what's gonna be happening. Backs are all painted. Plumbing's done for the most part. Couple little things to tweak. Got the ball valves all set up. And the main line running in. Didn't paint the plywood shelves on here. Not too worried about it. It's better than the particle board that originally came on these. I know so many people on YouTube use these or in the hobby themselves. Scares the crap out of me that you're gonna put all that water on particle board. Plywood's at least a little better of a choice. I could paint it, waterproof it. But these tanks have all been recently sealed and brand new at the bottom for that 40 gallon breeder. And it is now time to replace this 55 with the Plecos and the Variatus. I do have my trash barrel here to hold all the water. And it is time to disassemble all this. Slide this rack into place. Hook up the plumbing. First things first, gotta drain the tank and then start taking all the decor out and then scoop out everybody that's in there finding them a temporary home. I duct tape these lines in place. I got other stuff to do and well, I don't need any accidents. Cement floor, but I'm all set with cleaning it up. Well, the one thing I didn't want to happen has already happened, getting real in the fish room. The barrel I always use to do water changes with or transfer fish or anything like that. Big old crack down the side quarter of the way filled up 
And I didn't see the giant split. Gonna have to go old school and go with buckets and a couple totes and make it work that way. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Not the end of the world. So I've been hoping that these high fin variatus would actually breed. And only now that I'm draining out the water, check out that little fry. I've actually found a couple of them now. Yep, there's one down the bottom. So everybody's pulled out of the tank. Mostly everybody's in the bucket, but in those caves, whole bunch of pluckos hiding out. And one to two fry in there. Who knows who's hiding with the plants or in the big bucket as well, but they'll all make their way home eventually. Not too worried. Time to take apart the rest of the filtration, pull out the plumbing, and then slide this out of here. Well, pulled out the 55. I got this rack in place. Had to take off all the tanks, or at least most of them, just to cut down on the weight when moving it. Doing it all by myself moving it. So, take as many tanks off as I could without rebuilding the whole thing. And drag it over. But yeah, put the tanks back on. Hook up the FX6. Put at least one light on her and uh, figure out where to put the fish. So got the FX6 plumbed in. Clean water going up the line. I know I'm gonna lose head height to these three main tanks. Down into the 15 and the five, 15 and the five and down into the 40. FX6 should be plenty still. So. Not gonna clean it. I want all that cycled media in there and all the other bacteria. And I cleaned it about a month ago, so I'm really not worried for the amount of fish. So as much as I love my Beamworks LED aquarium lights for the new rack system, gonna have to try something a little different just because of the different heights of the tanks. I'm gonna give it a shot with this under cabinet lighting. Uh, they stick on. So I'll be able to stick them up to the uh, under part of the bottom of the other tanks. And hopefully these will be bright enough to grow a few plants, but mainly just illuminate the tanks for all the fry. So it does say to use and does come with these small pieces of tape. It says to use two of them per little bar or LED bar. I'm going to go ahead and use the heavy duty 3M tape that I have. It's actually gray instead of the white. Um, peel off the red tape, nobody will notice the difference, even if you see some of it, but it is what they use for automotive repairs, bumpers, things like that, so a little more heavy duty. And they also do come with these little wire holders. It does have the tape already pre-stuck, kind of cool. Keep the wires nice and neatly and bundled. You don't have to worry about water getting on them. So it's been a couple days now, a um, few nights after work, getting these tanks all set up. But the 55 is down and the new rack system is up. Nothing pretty with the wires, but the FX6 that was hooked up to the 55 is running it, reusing the rest of the equipment. Everybody is plumbed in and running. Tanks are ugly, but everybody is alive and happy. Water comes down, goes right through the overflows, right into the next tank, all the plecos hanging out. And I did pick up a new group, Filipino Blue Angels, juveniles. Gonna see if I can get a breeding pair, at least out of that group of seven. This is gonna be my 40 gallon breeder slash sump. Um, to run the whole system, this is just going to be, I'm going to dump all kinds of fry and pleco babies in here. And we got some pleco babies. 
Well guys, I'm gonna finish this out. I'm gonna try to get some clip-on lights for up top instead of this beam works. That is way too big and uh, we'll finish this out.